Are the New Orleans Saints the best team in the NFC South, and should they be the favorites to win this division? When you look at this New Orleans Saints team, they have a lot of good veterans, but it's a lot of things that hold this team back, even from last year. Last year, the biggest question mark was the quarterback. You had Andy Dalton start majority of the season with Jameis Winston going out early in the season dealing with a back injury. And Andy Dalton wasn't a horrible option at the quarterback position, but he wasn't good either. He was just a guy that was a stop bridge quarterback and could hold you over. But this team did make a major move in the past offseason by bringing in Derek Carr. Derek Carr is a quarterback that is good at times but does have some lows. I think Derek Carr would be a solid option for the New Orleans Saints. I do not believe that he's a long-term solution to the quarterback position, but he's a guy that can come in and give you good production. And the reason why I'm saying that, he's never played with a good defense like this defense he has with the New Orleans Saints. Now, it will be a bit of a learning curve with Derek Carr, and I expect for him to have some struggles with this team. That's why they brought in John Gruden to help install this brand new offense. And he has good weapons on this team. But the last two years of Derek Carr have been very interesting. 14 interceptions in back-to-back -back seasons. And he's always been a guy that has high turnover rates in his career. It just came with big plays. I believe that Derek Carr could be a solid option for this team. And you look at the weapons that they have around him. Jamal Williams will be the physical running back this team needs. Last season, Mark Ingram was not good for this team. And he was on the back end of his career. He had some crucial fumbles and some crucial plays that didn't go his way. And the run game suffered because Alvin Kamara is not in every down back. He is good when you want to use him in that receiving back role and let him get those big explosive runs for you. If you give him the football more than 20 times a game in the backfield, some of that starts to wear off because he's still an extremely good running back. But bringing in Jamal Williams will help out with that. He can split carries with Alvin Kamara. Last year, Jamal Williams led the league in rushing touchdowns with 17 and had 1,066 rushing yards. He's going to be the guy that you come in, put him in on goal line situations to get those two to three yards and punch into the end zone. And he's also a guy that you can put in on third downs and crucial downs to get you that much needed yardage. While Alvin Kamara can go back to that old role to how he was a couple years ago, a guy that can come in, get you good explosive yards, and you can dump the football down to and he can make some plays in the receiving game as well. That is how Alvin Kamara should be used. He's a very good running back, but how they used him last season was just not right. And Peep Carmichael has to find a better way to use him and Taysom Hill. Last year, Alvin Kamara had 897 rushing yards and only two rushing touchdowns, averaged four yards a carry. Get this guy the ball in the receiving ways and let him be that dual threat running back and let Jamal Williams be the more traditional running back for this team. Michael Thomas is still with this team, had one good game last season against the Atlanta Falcons when they had a major comeback victory. Him and Jameis Winston had a good rapport in that game. But the last couple of years, Michael Thomas hasn't been able to stay healthy. I know what happened the last time he was able to stay healthy for a full season, but he is not the same wide receiver even on film. He's slowed down. He's still a good wide receiving option to have when he's on the field. That's why they basically went in and altered the contract to one year for $10 million dollars. If this upcoming season, if he can't stay healthy, they're going to move on from him entirely. But you still have a franchise wide receiver in Chris Olave who stepped in last season in his rookie season and was extremely good. 1,042 receiving yards, four receiving touchdowns, 14 and a half yards, a catch, and 72 receptions. He's going to be the franchise wide receiver for years to come, and he's going to be a solid option for Derek Carr. And you have Jawan Johnson, who I love at the tight end position, with 508 receiving yards and seven receiving touchdowns. So this offense has the good guys at the skill positions. You still have Jameis Winston, who is a very good backup option to have on this team, just in case Derek Carr does go down. Because the offensive line last year was banged up, and it wasn't healthy, and it wasn't good at certain points of time throughout the season. We know that Ryan Ramchick is a franchise right tackle. But last year, Trevor Penning was limited on the action he could see on the field, dealing with a foot injury. But he was a guy that was selected in the first round with Chris Olave, supposed to come in and be a franchise nasty tackle that can help protect the passer and also get some things going in the run game. I believe that he'll be extremely good when it comes to those screen passes, him in open field. He is a guy that has a nasty history in college. We talk about getting penalties and being rough and aggressive, but that's what this offensive line needs. If Trevor Penny can come in and can be a hit at the tackle position, this offensive line can be extremely good with guys like Cesar Ruiz and Eric McCoy at the center position. 
So their offense is set, and I believe bringing in John Gruden is a little sneaky move by letting him come in and help install this offense and let him be hands-on with Derek Carr because Derek Carr is extremely comfortable with John Gruden and that system. Now defensively, this is a very good defensive group last season. They had a top total defense, top passing defense as well. The rushing defense ranked 23rd, but half of that became, was because of the offense had the six most turnovers in the NFL because they couldn't take care of the football and they had some crucial losses because of turnovers and they were up big on Tempe Buccaneers on a Monday night game and the course of the play call from Dennis Allen failed the team him as a defensive coordinator and Dennis Allen extremely good as a head coach I still have my questions I want to talk about the defense before I talk about Dennis Allen the head coach their defense last season was very good Cameron Jordan is getting older but he is still a good pass rusher eight and a half sacks two forced fumbles and I like Demario Davis still the middle linebacker position. He's a slept on middle linebacker. He can give you good plays. We talk about tackling and rushing the passer. Last year, he was extremely good at blitzing. Six and a half sacks and one interception. He is a playmaker at the linebacker position. And I like having Pete Warner beside him as well. Marcus May is a good safety alongside Tyron Matthew. That's a good safety dynamic for this team. Last year, Tyron Matthew had a very sneaky good season. And he thought that he was going to sign with a playoff contending team. That's what the Saints were, just some things didn't fall in their way. Back half of the season, they looked better, but Tyron Matthew is on the back end of his career where he's trying to accumulate a lot of money at the same time to play for a Super Bowl contending team. That's what the Saints should be. Not saying that's what they are, but that's what they should be when you look at this defense. Marshawn Lattimore is extremely good as well, a very good cover corner alongside Alante Taylor, and Marshawn Lattimore is still one of the best corners in the game. Now, Dennis Allen can coach a defense pretty good. The head coach in Dennis Allen is what I have my question marks about, and that's part of what held this team back last season. The misuses of Taysom Hill, the stinginess of offense, of how he wanted to be ran, and the over-aggressive defense at times held this team back, and it was the play call from Dennis Allen and the misuses of timeouts. I believe that Dennis Allen is a very good defensive coordinator. As a head coach long-term, I don't know, but history has shown him as a head coach, he gets in over his head and he makes a lot of emotional decisions. I think that Dennis Allen will have a very successful season this upcoming season if they do make the playoffs, but if they don't, they have to really consider moving on from Dennis Allen because Derek Carr is not saying much, but he is the best quarterback in this division as we speak. He's better than Baker Mayfield. He's better than Kyle Trask. He's miles ahead of both of those guys. Bryce Young is a rookie. We will see. Usually rookie struggle in the NFL, so we'll see how he goes with the Panthers. But they're a team that's still rebuilding, but they're almost done with their rebuild, it seems like. And the Atlanta Falcons are in a toss-up with Desmond Ritter. The Saints defense could win them this division. It just comes down to can Derek Carr be the franchise quarterback this team is looking for and they invest all this money into, and can Dennis Allen be the right head coach for this team? The biggest thing with the Saints is this. Their team isn't getting any younger. And they've been putting off this cap situation for quite some time now. I have to give the general manager and, own, own, and ownership a lot of credit for that. For the simple fact, they always find themselves below the cap room. It's every offseason, but they go in, they alter contracts, and they tweak things. And then all of a sudden, they make all the contracts work. But how much longer can they do this? Cameron Jordan isn't getting any younger. They need to go out there and try to make a realistic push right now. And I think that's what signing Derek Carr was doing with this team is helping them try to go forward instead of trying to tear this whole thing down and rebuild it but let me know in the comment section below are the new orleans saints the favorites to come out the nfc south division and should they be a team to look out for to make a deep playoff run i don't know if they can make a deep playoff run with dennis allen being the head coach but if their defense can continue to play at this level and Derek carr can go back to what he was a couple of years ago this could be a, a scary saints team I just don't know with the last two years of Derek Carr having 14 interceptions in back-to-back -back seasons if he can go back to form. I understand he was playing with a bad Raiders team defensively, so he had to go out there and put up a lot of yards to try to match and outscore other teams. He may not have to do that with this Saints team. Scoring 21 to 24 points may be enough to win you football games with this team. It should be enough points to win you games in this division. But let me know in the comment section how you feel about the Saints. Are they a true contender? If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. If you like the video, hit the like button. Most importantly, one each and every last one, guys, stay safe, stay positive. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Peace.